Hello, it's Hannah and I'm going to talk to you today about our solar system kit. This is a really great kit to print once and then use as a display in your classroom, but it's also really useful for integrated STEM activities. Included in our kit we have all eight planets from Mercury all the way down to Neptune. And then we even have two scale versions of the rings as well as a very small Earth's moon over here. This gives you a really good chance to start talking about percent differences between the planets. And you can do that by practicing calculating the volume of spheres in a real world environment or solar system environment, I should say, that the students are actually getting a chance to compare these real life objects and see just the differences in size. With that, you're talking about unit rate and proportionality as you're doing all of these scale factors. Everything here is built to one centimeter to 11,000 kilometers. So it's a good chance for the students to practice converting and doing these ratios to determine the actual size of the planets and the rings. And then you get a chance to actually start talking about scientific notation. And you can do that when you're discussing the distances between the planets. If students are going to be calculating to scale distances between the planets, again, they're gonna to have to start practicing conversion and see whether or not it's in the same scale as these. Or maybe you scale that down so you can do it on your football field or something like that. More than that, the rings themselves, in addition to being built to scale, actually show each of the different ring bands. So anytime there is a gap or a break in the rings that we have printed, there is actually one in the solar system. One thing to note when you're printing the 2D transparencies is to make sure your printer is set to print actual size. If your printer automatically scales things down or up, then you'll need to make sure that it's not doing that or it will not be printing the rings in the same scale as the planets are. One of the other nice things about including the rings in our solar system kit is that it gives you the chance to talk about dilations with concentric circles. So you can talk about similar shapes, you can compare the sizes of the rings of Neptune to the rings of Saturn. It's interesting because a lot of students don't realize that more than Saturn has rings, but this is showing them the exact rings that each planet has. And so it's a really interesting chance for the students to visualize the complexities and the intricacies of the solar system. All right, now that you've got a basic idea of how to use it, let's talk about assembly. As I mentioned, the rings are to be printed on transparencies. So for something like Uranus here, it prints the entire ring system on a single piece of paper. However, for something larger, like Jupiter or Saturn, where the rings are significantly bigger, they print on multiple sheets of paper. And these, you'll have to lay out on the table and assemble them into their full thing. Then you take scissors and cut the rings out, then use tape to combine them together. At that point, you are able to secure them to the planets using our ring support pieces. Each of the planets and each of the ring support pieces comes with a symbol on the end of it so you know which ring supports go with which planets and then you can very easily assemble them. You simply take the ring support, slide it in to the little notch on the side there, and once your rings are cut out, simply place them on top. Then flip it over, take tape, and secure the rings to the ring supports. Once you've done that, you have a solar system that you can hang from the ceiling of your classroom and leave up all year round. It's also, like I said, very useful for the students to take down and do measurements from. If you do decide to hang it from the ceiling, make sure that you're doing so at the proper orientation so that the planets are pointing with their axis the right way. That'll just really add to the effect of the solar system. However you use it, whether in the math classroom or the science classroom or both, we hope you enjoy using our solar system kit. Thanks for listening.